Now, Anthony Quinn has played, well, as you know, all sorts of roles in his movie and stage career. As a matter of fact, in Lawrence of Arabia, he's an Arab chieftain. But Mr. Quinn, about to read this amusing Rupert Brooke treatise on, well, on wetter water and slimier slime and fishing hooks, says that this is the first time he ever has played the part of a reflective fish. Here is Anthony Quinn, so let's bring him out of the final Fish, fish, fly replete in depths of June, dawdling away their watery noon, ponder deep wisdom, dark or clear, each secret fishy hope or fear. Now fish say, now, yeah, they have their stream and pond, but uh, is there anything beyond? Now this life cannot be all they swear, for how unpleasant if it were. Now one may not doubt that somehow good shall come of water and of mud, and sure the reverend I must see a purpose in liquidity. We darkly know by faith we cry, the future is not wholly dry. Mud unto mud. Death eddies near. Not here the appointed end, not here. But somewhere beyond space and time is wetter water and slimier slime. And there they trust, there swimmeth one who swam ere rivers were begun. Immense a fishy form and mind, squamous, omnipotent, and kind. And under that almighty fin, the littlest fish may enter in. Oh, and never a fly conceals a hook, fish say, in that eternal brook. But more than mundane weeds are there, and mud celestially fair. In fact, caterpillars drift around, and paradisal grubs are found. Unfading moths, immortal flies, and a worm that never dies. And in that heaven of all they wish, there shall be no more land, say the fish.